Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to talk about adaptive family uh, If you didn't watch the, my previous video about adaptive family, please watch it out and come back to this video But on this video we will continue talking about more complex things So we will start to create not just flat one adaptive family We already will create something like extrusion and I will show you how you can control it so who those who are interested in this video, so let's get started. And the first thing, as always, I will create it from the scratch, so because you want to follow me, so that's why I not will save what I have right now. And I will create the new family, so just go to the family, new family, let's open up. And here we have choose the which type of the family we want. I want metric generic adaptive point. So let's find it. Metric generic model adaptive. So it's here. Let's open up. So this is our scratch project and we will gonna start here. Uh, so we will continue work with the panels. This uh, this tutorial is more about how to how to control the point. And the next tutorial we will create something new, something interesting. Uh, so uh, go back to the again to the reference. Find here the dots and just make sure you're working on the uh, right plane. As you can see, I'm working on the flat one. And let's place like uh, four numbers, one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter how you will uh, arrange it. Uh, so as you can see, it's not uh, on the one line, so it's okay. Select everything and make it adaptive. So we did it. Uh, you already know how to create uh, how to create the line between uh, two of the dots. You can just select uh, both of them and just click on the uh, here on the spline true points, and you will see the automatically Revit will create the uh, spline between of them. So we can do it uh, everywhere just one by one like this, and let's create it here. Okay, but as I said on the previous. Uh, tutorial you cannot use this line because this is not a reference line actually it's not good to use uh, like a reference so select these lines as you can see I select the loop line you should use the tab key so if you are using the tab key you can select one line or you can select the chain so I, ch I selected the chain and here under the properties find is reference line so and make it on now and your line be, will become the green color and this means your line now it's reference line and as i said in previous video we can make two types of extrusion For first type extrusion we can select all this line and just make the create the form the second way we can create the dots so uh, why i will choose the, the second way we creating the dots here for example here one dot here one dot here and here and after that we will connect all, all of them like this and we will get our extrusion. Why I will choose that way? Because, uh, for example, if you want to change position only for uh, these uh, points, I mean only for that point, you want to make it a bit smaller. This point you want to make a bit uh, higher. And let's say this is, will stay as it is. And this point will change position on that. You cannot do uh, that thing if you will do surface. But if you have, uh, for example, um, the points, you can do that. Uh, so let's say I'll show you now. You just uh, can watch it. Don't don't follow me if you want. Uh, let's create the form. As you can see, here is our extrusion. Everything perfect. So if I will uh, change the position of this this um, of this point and this point changing too. So it's perfect. But what if I want make here this point smaller by parametrical, not just by like this. You know, just here making like nine one thousand five hundred. So and as you can see, we cannot do that. This is really terrible because, for example, I want to make here the slope. Okay, so we should use for that situation uh, the other points. And we will do that. Uh, and I'll show you how you can manipulate with that. So let's start. So uh, I will go back to the, my uh, reference line. Just I'll use the Ctrl Z a few few times, and here we are. So we will work on these uh, reference lines. Okay. So we, what we're gonna do now? Next, go to the reference, find here the point, and now we should set our working plane. So let's set up our working plane, and we should choose that uh, working plane. So that working plane is from our existing dot. So let's use that working plane and let's place the dot here. And we should do that few times. Again, set working plane, put our your uh, dot. Again, just just continue to create that thing. 
So as you can see, for each of this uh, dot, we have own working plane. This is pretty cool. Just select everything what you have because I cannot see properly where is my dot. Go to the filter, find here the just reference points because adaptive point is points with the number, a reference points it's without the number. Let's say OK and you cannot see nothing, but we can see here the offset. Let's choose offset and let's say 500. Let's say OK. And as you can see here our dots, let's make 1000 millimeter. So, oh, I said 1000. Okay, you can see here is our dots. If I will change position of the my main adaptive family, you can see adaptive point. Sorry, you can see my uh, dot following this. Uh, the uh, this is our mother dots. So um, as you can see, this is pretty simple, and we can connect it. So go again now to the reference. Go here, for example, to the line. Find here the three D snapping, and let's snap it one by one just like this and last one okay so now as you can see we have uh, two lines two reference lines uh, exactly uh, on the uh, it's under each other we can now select a uh, one chain lines and let's say uh, select the other uh, chain lines and after that just create the form so we get everything uh, same as we did with extrusion but as you can see we have uh, different dots. So, for example, if I will select this dot and I will say here I want 1500 millimeters, we will get 1500 millimeters. As you can see, now we can manipulate it more better than previous one. Extrusion is just uh, your uh, solid surface, so this is not good for more controlling. The points will give you more control. So, as you can see, it's working. Okay, so, and I said we will create the parametrical one. So let's create the parametrical one. And as you already see, if I will select this dot, we have the on the right side, this small button. This small button would mean um, we can make it parametrical. So let's click on that small button. And here we are, uh, we can create new parametric, uh, new parametric property. So let's create it. Uh, now the Revit asking uh, the name, let's say it will be height. Okay, and let's make it, for example, instance, why not? Let's make it instance, let's say okay, let's say okay. So now this dot will follow our um, parametric number, here 1500 millimeters, let's say this is, will be 900 millimeter. why not? Let's say okay, and as you can see, now it's following. And let's make this uh, dot also will follow this height, let's say okay. Uh, for this dot, let's I will do for something new. I will create uh, also, but we will say like it's number two, and let's make it instance. Why I'm making instance the second one? Because we cannot uh, working with uh, two different uh, parameters like instance and types. But I think I will create the one more lesson about that, and you will see uh, what I mean. So and let's make for example this situation. Here will be height. Uh, I know I don't know like divide by three, and this will be like this. Oh, I didn't finish. Here will be like this and plus uh, divide by four. Let's do something like that, something more interesting. And we, you can see we have th this number. Let's say okay. And what we gonna what what we have now? Uh, let's make it uh, on the one side because you cannot see now how it's changing. I just changing the position of my these dots of my previous dots. Okay, so uh, as you can see now, this dot it's uh, 500 millimeters. This dot nine 900 millimeters. If I will change this dot now like 1500 millimeter, we will get something like that. So as you can see, we did it parametrical. It now looks more interesting, but we can do more uh, to <laughs> create something more interesting. We will do that in the next tutorial. Now you know how to manipulate with the dots, and uh, but some bonus I will show you right now. 
Okay, last time uh, when I created uh, these points, I used this surface, right? Uh, but actually you can use also that surface too. So it means your dot will follow like Z line. Oh, I mean X line. So, and you can manipulate with that position. So it's also simple. I will show you like a few things and you can use it in your own task. So what we're gonna do again, go to the reference, go to the uh, point, let's set uh, your working plane. And as you see, I'm set this working plane and let's put our dot here. Let's select this dot and let's say this is will be 900 millimeters. So as you can see, my dot is here. Cool. Uh, I want to make like this triangle, triangle extrusion here like this. For example, like this triangle extrusion, I want to do that. So I need this point too. Let's create this point. Uh, as you can see, we don't have any reference line here, so it's terrible. You can select this point and just go here to the show reference plane always. And ta-ta, you will see one more reference planes. This is pretty, pretty cool, right? Uh, so, and let's do the same thing with that one. Uh, okay, I want to see the reference plane of that point. So show the reference plane always. I cannot see it right now, but as you can see, we have the around that working plane. So let's go to the uh, reference, let's go to the point, set, and let's set. As you can see here, the reference point. Let's set this point and let's put our point here. Don't, uh, don't, uh, don't be afraid about that. This is just a warning, it's not error. Uh, really just as a saying, like we have two dots on the same position. It's okay, because we will change our position. So, and let's make 900 mm millimeters too. So the dot on the same position as you can see and if we changing for example position of that dot and everything changing too as you can see pretty cool right. So uh, what we're gonna do next. Next I want to connect and I want to create geometry. So you go, should go to the reference after that you go to the uh, line 3D snapping don't forget and one two three and four and let's do the same on the uh, this position, two, three, and four. Okay, and we have one chain here. Let's select that, as you can see, one chain. And let's select this chain. And we just can create the form. So cool, right? Uh, why we did that? Because we can create the new parameters. Let's select that one and let's uh, create the new parameter. And let's say this is, will be distance. We will do the distance, instance parameter too. Let's say okay, okay. Go to the uh, properties and let's say the distance will be uh, like height two divide by um, divide by three. Why not? Or or let's make divide by two. Why not? Okay, and as you can see, four hundred millimeters. Let's say okay, papa. So let's make uh, more interesting. Let's, for example, our distance will be 2,500 millimeters. Let's say okay. And as you can see, our family now changing this part extrusion, uh, extruding this part, making the smaller, this one part making the height. So, and we can, now it is, this is just adaptive family. But in the next tutorial, I will show you how we can create more complex thing like the doors, windows, maybe some panels we will create also by adaptive family for today this is finish i hope you was interesting that if you find it really interesting don't forget about like and comment uh, this really helps to my channel and helps to me uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time to support my channel you can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.